Look at this amazing human eye. It's a masterpiece of biological engineering. A self-cleaning, self-lubricating camera that captures millions of pixels in real time. But what if I told you that even this resilient organ can develop cancer? And it often starts as something so small, so seemingly harmless, that most people would ignore it. In this video we are gonna talk about a rare but very important eye condition, conjunctival carcinoma. This is not just a small eye problem, it's actually a type of cancer that can affect vision, and if untreated, even spread beyond the eye. By the end of this video, you'll understand what it is, why it happens, how we diagnose it, and how we treat it and follow up these patients. Conjunctival carcinoma is a type of cancer where the cells of this membrane start to grow uncontrollably, forming a tumor. The most common type is called squamous cell carcinoma. It's rarely life-threatening, but if left untreated, it can grow and damage the eye and surrounding structures, leading to vision loss. Now you might be thinking, should I be worried? The key thing to know is that this is a very rare cancer. We are talking about 1-2 to two cases per 100,000 people each year. So what causes this? Doctors point to a few key culprits. The first one is ultraviolet light exposure. This is the big one. Just like UV rays cause skin cancer, they can damage the cells of the conjunctiva. This is why people who spend a lot of time in the sun without sunglasses are at higher risk. The second one is human papillomavirus or HPV. Certain strains of this virus have been linked to the development of these tumors and other risk factors including having a lighter skin tone and light colored eyes, having a weakened immune system, say from an organ transplant or HIV, and simply age. It's more common in older adults. Now here is the important part. What should you actually look for? The signs are often subtle. A visible growth. A raised fleshy lump on the white of the eye or under the eyelid. It might have tiny blood vessels feeding it, making it look pink or reddish. A persistent red spot. A patch of redness that doesn't go away with eye drops and isn't caused by irritation. Or irritation itself, a constant feeling that something is in your eye, greeting, burning, or watering. In advanced cases, you might even see the tumor spreading over the cornea, the clear front part of your eye. You have a spot on your eye that doesn't go away after a few weeks. See an eye doctor or ophthalmologist. It's probably nothing serious, but it's always worth a check. Here is the great news, when cough early, conjunctival carcinoma is highly treatable. The gold standard treatment is surgery. But this isn't just any surgery, it's incredibly precise, done under a microscope. The surgeon removes the tumor along with a tiny margin of healthy tissue to ensure they got it all. To prevent recurrence, they often follow up with cryotherapy or freezing the edge of the area. Or the other one is topical chemotherapy. By using a special anti-cancer eye drops that kill any remaining abnormal cells. After treatment, the follow-up is critical. You will need regular checkups, first every few months, then yearly for several years to make sure it doesn't come back. But with modern techniques, the success rate is fantastic. So what's the bottom line? Conjunctival carcinoma is a rare eye cancer, largely linked to sun exposure. Its power is in its stealth. But our power is in awareness and early action. So protect yourself by wearing UV blocking sunglasses and a wide brimmed hat when you're outside. And most importantly, listen to your body. If something on your eye looks or feels different and doesn't go away, get it checked. It's a simple step that protects your priceless gift of sight.